I'm Lorraine Romero. I'm actually at Kaysen Middle School, and I'm a special education teacher in the behavior unit. I was kind of surprised. It's actually a funny story. <laughs> so I knew I was nominated, and it was just an honor being nominated. Um, I knew final votes were going on, so I was like, in my gut, I was like, it's a very long shot, me winning. I was going up, a, I mean, I went up against a great science teacher, Mr. Davis, very well known in campus, the district. So I was like, nah, I'm just glad I got nominated. I was happy I went to celebrate just for that. Then I get the email. T Congratulations, Lorraine, you got teacher of the year. I actually turned off my email. <laughs> I clicked out of it. I clicked back in. I was like, it is real. I sat there, cried a little bit, and I was like, you know what? I got to call my mom. Took off, told my co-teacher, I'll be right back. Told my aide, I'll be right back. I got, a, I got a call. Nobody answered. My mom, my husband, my brother, my sister, nobody answered. <laughs> so about maybe 20 minutes later, I get a phone call. What happened? Is everything okay? I was like, I got teacher of the year. So me and my mom cried on the phone for a while. So it was very exciting, emotional, but I was just happy that I got it. Sometimes every day coming in is a challenge. Um, you never know what you're going to come into. There's days that you come in and it's a great day and everything goes smooth and there's just some days where there's a situation. Sometimes it's emotional, sometimes it's to the point where it's an actual crisis and you have to stop everything, be calm, patient, and let the student know that you're there for them ultimately. And as soon as the student knows that they can trust you and they know that you're there for them, anything is possible. I would think that in what you do, there are days that you're emotionally exhausted. Talk about how you get through that and how you come to work the next day, trying to have your batteries recharged. It's taken me a while. I've been a teacher for seven years already. Um, I've been in the elementary, been to the high school, and now I'm in a middle school, and I take things home with me. At first, I had to learn how not to take things home personal. I took everything so personal, so emotional, I would go home sometimes and even cry. Because how could I change it? How could I make this student's life better? What could I do? Did I do enough when I was there at school? Is there something different I could have done? Could I have said something different? Did I notice something? So I had to really go home and learn to leave it at work sometimes and focus on my own children because my children needed me as well. Special ed, I would really like that. I love behavior. It's funny how you know, most people will see behavior as, oh, that student this. And when it comes to that student, those are the students that I, I'm able to build a rapport quicker with. I'm able to get there. I have, I can tell you on the campus, I know most of the students are mainly getting in trouble, and they always tell me, how do you know my name? What's going on? Why do you know my name? Why well, are you always in trouble? What's going on? So after a while, they end up coming to me with little situations, and I'm glad that I'm not only able to help my students in my class, but also help students out there with behavior situations that occur, and kind of counsel them and give them techniques on de-escalating themselves to build those social skills, those coping skills, to be a good student, be an appropriate student in class and be successful. I had a student that I worked with in elementary, um, always going in there, going in there, helping them, having to remove them from the, the classroom, counseling them, trying to figure out different ways to handle situations, handle when he was frustrated. Got transferred to South San High School. When I came back to Kazan, I actually had the student in my behavior unit again. And I was able to work with them. He was doing great. He, I was so proud because he was actually mainstreamed. He was out there in the general education population with all the other kids and doing it, making it. And I told him, and he always told me, do you remember you telling me that I could do it? And I always told him, yes, I did. And I'm glad. So I was just glad that I was there and able to witness one of my students getting out of a self-contained unit and making it in the general education population.